Furstenberg. Oh, I was right socializing. <laughs> Everybody's here, okay. All right, ready? Yeah. All right, so the fashion heavyweights were on the red carpet last night, blah, 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 the Met Gala. Here to, here to break down the hits and misses, the host of Page Six TV, one of my faves, Bevy Smith. <laughs> expert Lloyd Boston. <laughs> get him, Lloyd, get him. Hey. And of course, the ever so shady Robert Verdi. <laughs> First, Rihanna. Lloyd, go ahead. Yeah, come on, Riri. She owned the carpet one more Thank time. You. Thank you. She was the queen of the night, and she spared no detail, no expense on the details. We're looking at Maison Margiela Artisanal, and this, yes. of course, is from John Galliano. So we're looking at hundreds of hours of beating. It's really she beautiful. went in on the Pope mitre, they call it, the Pope hat. Uh -huh. And you know, you've never seen this on a woman in history. No. So she does it with a tongue in cheek attitude with that Riri flair. And I just heard from part of her glam squad, speaking of sparing no expense, she flew in 3,000 miles, Damone Roberts, the eyebrow king of Hollywood, just to bleach and shape her eyebrows to match her skin. That way the hat really stands out. Yeah. Isn't that amazing? Right? Oh, I mean, the expense of it all, but no, I think <laughs> she and Kim K to me were my favorites on the whole red carpet yeah. all night. Yeah. Definitely. That, that's it. I'm not going to say Kim K was a favorite, but what I want to get into is, is this. I genuflect and her liturgical, lavish, fabulosity. I do, I genuflect. <laughs> I bow down to the point. Thank you, thank yes. you. But here's the thing. She made that mitre hat go from being a Klansman hat in my head to now perhaps becoming a fashion go-to moment for next season. Bevy. You know, if you can pull it off, you should, because that's Robert. a major. I, I mean, I looked at, the first thing I thought was, did Aretha Franklin have a garage sale and sell a hat? But, <laughs> I, no, I did love it. I, what I loved about this particular event is that she dressed for her role across, like, the celebrity landscape and across fashion's landscape. She is the Pope of fashion. She looks really yeah, good. Yeah. Okay, Bevy Kim. I already said she's my favorite. Kim Kardashian. Well, here's the thing you need to know. The Vatican, the Vatican is worth about $15 billion, and it looks like Kim is dripping in all $15 billion, yes. honey. She looks uh, gorgeous in Versace. Now, this, of course, is not so revolutionary, but it's immaculate for her body. And the thing I love about it is that in last week, with all the blue ha, -ha with Kanye, we forgot about the fact that, Con um, that Kim put out a perfume bottle in the shape of her Audi. But she was like, y'all gonna remember the day about this KKKW <laughs> fragrance, darling. Because that's exactly the way the fragrance bottle and looks. And Kanye wasn't there. And Kanye was <clears throat> not there, And darling. she looks like a walking zombie. She what? does. What? She looks like a hologram. Yes. She does. Yeah, or I a like fembot. It. Or what, a what sex bot. Like, it yeah. really looks robotically beautiful. Like, yeah. it was carved mm -hmm. in a lab, that body. It's mm -hmm. so perfectly tailored inside of that Versace gown. And notice the embroidered crosses on the hip and mm -hmm. the bodice. She didn't go over the top with the theme, and it's a nice mix on the carpet. Some Good people went over too. the top, some people kept it sexy. Yeah. She went total Vegas. I think, she had a, she, I think she had a couple of ribs removed, <laughs> and I think that they were probably tender and juicy and delicious. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, she looks, she's a beautiful girl. She looks absolutely fabulous in this dress. But I, I do think that it's not as an exciting version of what for we've the, seen on For the, the event? For the yeah. event, yeah. I respected the idea that she and Rihanna both did not have that big, gigantic train, train making yeah. everybody trip all yeah. that but fabric. Doesn't she look a little like Noxima Jackson from Tu Wong Fu? <laughs> Robert. <laughs> Robert. <laughs> Robert. <laughs> Robert, continue talking about Katy Perry. Okay, Katy Perry. Well, you don't want to, you know, she can't walk past Popeyes with those wings on. Um, <laughs> uh, you know, there's one thing you can say about her, she's not a chicken. Or is <laughs> Or worth $25 she? million. Dollars. Um, you know, the Angel of Gabriel was a really incredible religious reference. I do think Lloyd, you know, Lloyd, I think, says this the best. She's kind of, like, reaching at this point. Yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah, she is reaching. But you don't expect much less from a pop princess like Katie. I mean, this is her signature. She yeah. had cupcake bra back yeah, in the day. Like, I this is her thing. more than a party city <laughs> and sexy angel costume. This is ridiculous. She, this angel has fallen from grace, darling. Well, She's that wingspan is about six feet wide, you know? And think about it. She's mm -hmm. getting a little long in the wings, so she has to reinvent. <laughs> she has to reinvent. And we saw this trend across the board. A lot of chain mail. Yes. That gold chain mail was a popular theme. So and she's wings. on trend for that carpet. And wings. Yes. Until she does right by American Idol, she won't, and her $25 million, she won't do right by <laughs> American really, Idol. That's exactly. a seed in your dentures, isn't it? Yes, it is. <laughs> uh, Bevy Cardi B. I pray.
brave for Cardi B to slay her first Met Gala, and she definitely let me know that God answers all prayers, darling. God answers all prayers. She was gorgeous in this Jeremy Scott from Moschino look, and I just thought that she was the, the not-so-virginal Madonna the epitome of it. She just You know what's it. endearing to me about Cardi B? No matter how confident she seems, she always looks scared in the eyes. Yeah. yeah. Like, she looks frightened. She doesn't look yeah, like, I agree with that. like sex does. pot or anything. She right. looks scared, like, what am I doing? Am I doing everything right, <laughs> Robert? She's also, she's also pregnant, and this is a, a magnum event. I've been to this event, and it is really, that, that carpet is something Intense. to yeah. see. Uh. But, you know, I think this is a great reference for the, the event. It's a religious reference of Madonna and Child. Yeah. I think she did it beautifully. I do agree with you. You know, she's kind of new to the game, and these big, crazy carpets are hard to hold your own, and she's doing it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Boy. And who would have thought, you know, from reality TV yeah. to actually people waiting on her yeah. on the red carpet, you never thought she would get here. But this is Jeremy Scott. It's gem-encrusted, so you know it's incredibly heavy, and she's carrying a baby. It's a lot going on on that staircase. Her rounds look really good in that oh, dress, yeah. right? <laughs> her rounds look good. This is money moves. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's talk about Madonna, Debbie. Madonna, you know, this is supposed to be her night because she actually invented this entire theme, Catholicism seen through the prism of fashion. So I don't know why she's wearing a Confederate war widow's garment. <laughs> and perhaps this is sartorial self-flagellation. Perhaps she's repenting for her sins in the past because that's the only way that this makes sense. I don't like it. It was that's a costume of a costume saying. of a costume. She looked like Betty Davis in who, whatever happened to Baby, Baby Jane. <laughs> but... It's, it's like, she should have, this is her, this is her language. She's the yeah. cornerstone of this when we were in, in the 80s, and I expected more from I her. I thought that she was going to be stunting on them she, pools. Yeah, I yeah. thought yeah. so. Yeah. I she thought she was going to end up being like the Rihanna of it all, the Pope. Yeah. 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 So that would have been too expected for her. She has partnered with Jean-Paul Gaultier for decades with these same themes. She's the original yes. iconoclast. Right. Yes. But it just kept me thinking, like, how do you say abuela in Italian? <laughs> <laughs> you know, it just feels like abuela showed up. <laughs> Well, that's it. They're a whole bunch of fun, aren't they? <laughs> For more information on panelists, yeah. go to wendyshow.com. Up next, Todd Crisley and his daughter and his son are here. So don't go far.